Around here, we like to do mood trackers. We like to talk to the nation about how specific fan bases feel towards their program. And we're going to do Clemson right now. The Clemson fan base, at its core, what is the mood? I would characterize the Clemson fan mood as sort of trying to remember the combination. There was a situation in sixth grade where, ironically, my locker combination was 32, 18, 36. I remember it perfectly now. However, when I was in sixth grade at Harris County Carver Middle School, in the first few weeks, I forgot my locker combination. Whomst amongst us, right? So I didn't want to move lockers. I didn't want a new locker. I didn't really want anything to change because it was like three rows down from my first period class. I just needed to remember my combination more effectively. And Clemson does not need wholesale changes. Every Clemson fan understands that. Most Clemson fans, uh, most wise Clemson fans, believe in Dabo Swinney, as you should. Uh, Most Clemson fans believe that there's a different way that program goes about its business. Outsiders scoff at that. You should ignore the outsiders. It doesn't matter because inside your walls, that's the only opinion that matters. Um, However, a couple of tires have gotten wobbly over the last few years. They haven't fallen off. Take it from someone who had to get a tire adjusted today. They haven't fallen off, but it's wobbly. You know, it's not elite. It's not exactly running as smoothly as it was. It's really hard to maintain that altitude that they had as a program a few years ago. They've just, it seems like, forgotten the combination. Locker still looks the same. Everything inside is still the same. Can we just get the combination remembered? Or, in more practical terms, can we figure out the wide receiver room? Can we, can we make that room look like it did a few years ago? We had monsters in there. We littered the first and second rounds of the NFL draft. Not so much. Now, uh, candidly, having your ear to the ground in South Carolina this spring, it sounds like they're probably upgraded. From, a, from an athlete-to-athlete perspective in the wide receiver room. My fingers are tightly crossed on that prospect. So you want that. You want Garrett Riley, who I thought was one of, if not the biggest assistant coach additions in the entire industry last year at offensive coordinator. You want there to be a really, really big year one to year two jump. You want that quarterback, Cade Klubnick, to play out of his mind this year. Basically, you want a lot from positions that have delivered at an elite level this year, like they have in the past. It's not so much to ask, is it? You know that you're not scrapped for resource there. Now, there's some uncertainty around you. There's some uncertainty as to what conference you're going to be playing in in five years, but that doesn't matter this year. Um, you got access. you got, you got plenty of inroads. The FSU example from last year notwithstanding, no one's getting left out of a 12-team playoff if they go undefeated. I'd argue no one's getting left out if you even have one loss in these uh, Power Four conferences, especially the ACC. I'm going to argue that and hope it's true. So the other thing is no one has claimed your throne over there. If you're a Clemson fan, the worst thing that could happen is you fell off and then someone was there to grab the crown and then they just kicked you down the hill. Like Florida State won the conference last year, but if you look at the fan duel odds right now, it's Clemson, it's Florida State, like Miami's not too far off. No one has become the presumptive favorite at your expense. It's just kind of viewed still as a coin flip any given year. It was this way last year, guys. And then we lost. If I'm talking as a Clemson fan, we lost to Duke in week one. We were already a two-loss team by week four or week five, I want to say. Turnovers were a huge problem for us. So it's not major things. It's minor things. I'm not even getting into the whole will or won't Dabo dive into the portal. Like That's its whole other show. And I'd love love to get him on the show one day to discuss that probably in the summer that's probably where we would be free enough to discuss such things but the thing's still wide open the acc is still wide open the door you know that that clemson kind of got pushed out of it's still open it hasn't slammed shut so everything could still be rectified and righted there and i i don't know if i would label it freak out i don't think clemson fans have freaked out about that stuff at all but i do think that they they kind of look back in their rearview mirror a little bit, and then they're, they're looking down at the gear shift. Like, where's the R? The R? The R? We actually want to go back. We want to go back to the way it was. Well, you can't do that. However, you can make adjustments to where the future looks like the past. I wish the music industry would do the same thing. So Clemson, the music industry, it would just be great for everyone.